All right, what's going on, y'all? Today, I'm gonna to talk about the differences and frankly, which one I think is better between bodybuilding and weightlifting and running. If you guys don't know me already, I'm a hybrid athlete. I'm training between ultra running, and right now I'm training for the David Goggins 4x4x48 in a 100 mile race later this year. And then also, I very consistently and love training with bodybuilding. And this is actually a question I've been surprised at how much I've gotten this recently, but I've been asked many, many times by people who you know, are, are in the sport of bodybuilding or they're powerlifters, weightlifters, and they frankly wanna know why I choose to run and run so much. And on the flip side, I've got a lot of trail, especially ultra runners, wanting to know why I spend so much time in the gym. So I definitely don't think you need to choose between the two. I do hybrid um, for a very specific reason, but because this video is titled what it is and I've been asked the question so many times, I will give you a verdict at the end of this video of essentially which one I think is better, which one I like better. But during the whole thing, I'm gonna be laying out the pros and cons of what I found personally. This is gonna be all anecdotal, um, very, very personal to me, um, both mindset wise and then actual the physical benefits like fat loss, all of that of you know which one I think is better. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and get a run done. We just got dumped here in Austin. We just got dumped with um, snow all of last night. It's right now like 17 degrees. Um, so I'm kind of trying to figure out how to get this thing done, um, but I'm gonna get it out there and do it. Actually, let me go ahead and show you how bad this snow is. All right, so this is how much snow we got here in Austin, Texas last night. It's a good bit for us. We were not prepared for this, so all roads haven't been cleared, nothing like that. Not to mention, I don't have any running gear for 12 to 17 degree weather, so I'm gonna have to get creative with this. But I'm gonna go ahead, get out on a trail, and I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about what I love about running, what I don't like about running. quite deep. I've almost slipped, only about twice. So I feel like we're doing pretty good. I saw quite a few wrecks on the way over here though, but um, that leads into my first point about why I love running versus just strictly bodybuilding. And that leads into another point that I've had many periods of time where um, I was just strictly bodybuilding or just strictly ultra running. And so I've experienced not having the other modality, not having the other training style. And so I've seen what I've missed out. So the very first thing with running is this right here. When I'm just strictly bodybuilding, I don't have the adventure. I love the adventure of being able to put on my shoes and use my body to go anywhere. I love being outside. I love nature. But that is one thing that with just strength training, I definitely miss. Um, you know, while going to the gym every day has its perks, it kind of sucks not having that adventure element, not being outside. And yes, you can do outdoor workouts and all of that, but it's not the same as being out on a trail and all of that. So that's the very first thing is the adventure part. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of this run and I'll get back and finish all the points. All right, just wrapped up seven miles. That was definitely, one of my slower runs I've done in a while, but it was still good. Definitely good to get out here. So the next point I have for running is if you're trying to, you know, callous your mind, get mentally calloused, you know, like David Goggins talks about, there's a reason why people like David Goggins, Nick Fair, Cam Haynes, all these hard dudes choose, and women choose um, endurance training. Not just saying running, but endurance training. I understand that doing, say, a one rep max with powerlifting or, you know, the dieting with bodybuilding, that's tough in its own right, but it pales in comparison compared to the pain caves, the deep, long pain caves you go through um, with running. So, the reason why I love it so much is that kind of mental hardening, that mental callousing you get from it. It just makes everything else in life so much easier. You have so much less stress because of spending the time in those deep, 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 deep pain caves. And that leads into another reason I love it is it is definitely an active meditation for me. 
getting out there, having all those miles in solitude, being out on the trail alone, having all that time to think while essentially being forced into a breathing exercise when you're focusing on your breathing, all of that, it's an act of meditation. So it makes me so much more peaceful day to day. And that's why I refer to running is my water and lifting is my fire. And I'll get into in just a second when I get back inside the reasons I love bodybuilding because um, there's a lot of things that lifting gives me that running doesn't. But these are just a few of the first few things that came to mind on why I love running. There's so many more I could talk about. You know, the fact that it allows me to be way more flexible with my diet than bodybuilding does um, while still maintaining a six pack if that's important to you. Um, there's a lot of other factors out there, but these were the three kind of big points. Um, but now let me talk about why I love bodybuilding. All right, so I'm back inside. My hands are starting to thaw out. And right now I've got pretty much any run over four or five miles. I'll do a scoop to scoop and a half of BPN whey protein. So I've got a scoop and a half on deck right now. So I'm gonna get that down. But I wanna go ahead and talk about why I love bodybuilding and lifting over running. And so, you know, the many times that I've just been training um, ultra running and done very, very little strength training, I've missed out on some things that lifting gives me. So it's just like I said that um, running is my water. It's kind of, you know, that peaceful, uh, you know, the solitude out in the trails, all that lifting is my fire. And by fire, I mean it's a healthy amount of aggression. This is not aggression towards other people. Um, in all of you bodybuilders, power lifters, strong men, anybody doing strength training is gonna know what I'm talking about here. When you go ahead and you get under some really, really, really heavy weight, you can elect every bit of stress, every bit of you know built up tension, all of that come out through the weights. And it'll give you, just like how you'll have a runner's high, it'll give you a different type of high over here. Um, but it gives that very, very healthy amount of regression that when I was just running, I didn't have that. While I had many other benefits with the running itself, I didn't have the aggression. Um, and like I said, it's a healthy type of aggression and it's a healthy level of aggression, but I didn't have that. I would call it more of a, a vigor. I didn't have that kind of just that, um, that will, that uh, very, very you know, good aggression coming out when I was just running. So that's the very, very first one. It's just like I said, um, running is water and lifting is my fire. Um, for me personally, uh, you know, running gives me solitude, but lifting, I have um, gym partners. So one thing I love about lifting is going and being able to smash weights um, with my buddies in the gym. We can go and put hardcore music on and just completely demolish the weights. Um, and that is one thing that I don't really have on the running side. I'm not gonna compare the communities to either one because I'm talking more my personal situation with friends um, because if I was to compare community to community, the running community is far better than bodybuilding community. In my opinion, bodybuilding community is all ego driven. Everybody's kind of out for themselves. We're on the running side. Everybody is really, really rooting each other on. Not everybody, but for the most part, especially in the ultra running community, everybody's really friendly. Um, everybody's just there out for each other, which is really, really, really cool. But on the bodybuilding side, another thing, um, that's really good is, you know, while you need to have your diet and training dialed in for um, running, um, with bodybuilding and with lifting, if you want to meet your goals, whether that's a strength goal, if trying to say get a, a squat PR, whether that's a physique goal, you know, you wanna have six pack or whatever it is, you've gotta have consistency and you've gotta have consistency with the right things. You've gotta have consistency with the right diet. You've gotta have consistency with the right training. And when you go ahead and you build that, it leads to discipline in all areas of your life very, very, very quickly. Most people I know that have gone through a period of time where they've taken bodybuilding um, or some strength modality really, really serious, those people tend to be, at least from what I've seen, um, successful in many areas of their life. And I just think it comes down to the consistency and the discipline that you build up um, from that. So there's a lot of other things I love about lifting and there's a lot of other things I love about running. You know, I could go ahead and talk about the diets. I could talk about, you know, how, you know, with running, you've got a lot more flexibility in your diet if you wanna stay lean. But with lifting, you know, if you eat these certain things, you know, you can have more mass and more strength. Um, I could go way more in depth than this, but I don't wanna keep this, you know, make this like a 30 minute, 10 hour long video. So I know all of you out there want me to choose 
you know, whether I would prefer running over lifting. Um, and if I had to choose one, I don't have to choose and I will continue training hybrid. I love doing both. But if I had to choose, I would absolutely choose running specifically ultra running over lifting. Um, ultra running has given me way, way, way more benefits. It gives me way, um, way more peace that carries over um, day to day. Uh, there's just way more benefits I get from running than I do get from lifting. But with that being said, I do get benefits from lifting as well. I just, you know, if I had to choose to, you know, be out in the trails every day and get the benefits from, you know, being in solitude, the active meditation, the mental callousing, that outweighs just letting my aggression, aggression come out in a closed box gym every day um, and kind of, you know, feeling, you know, like I'm just slogging it out day after day after day. I love both but I would definitely choose running. And that's the thing, guys. You don't have to choose um, either one. You know, even if you have a really, really tight schedule, you can go ahead and, and make a hybrid plan for yourself. You can figure out a way to do both running or some type of endurance training with lifting. But I definitely think both are important. Um, me personally, though, if I had to choose, I would choose ultra running over lifting. But this is kind of a random video. I've just gotten this question um, quite a few times lately, so I wanted to go ahead and bring this here. If you guys want me to go more in depth and talk more about, you know, the specifics of, you know, the diets of both or, you know, maybe the, the training styles of both, I can definitely do that as well. But this is more the kind of like mental benefits and just the actual like day-to-day -day benefits I get from either one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe down below, leave any comments. Let me know what you guys like. You know, if you guys prefer bodybuilding over endurance training or vice versa, I would love to hear why. Um, but be happy, be positive, be powerful. Have a great rest of your day.